back at it again with a part two so hey guys i know this is a long awaited video um but we're finally getting back to it all right so i've only taken out a quarter of my boyfriend's hair i know that you guys have been asking for a finished product but we just haven't finished it i know it's like been a year and a half since i started doing this but this is about as much as i've gotten done so far it's literally like a quarter of the back of his head the rest of it is still in dreads and I just separated them into three different braids just so I can keep them neat. And so I'm going to do a tutorial this time. This is a close up of his dread just to show you guys that this is a dreadlock. It's not a twist. I have a lot of people in the comments asking me about are they really faux dreads? Are they like twists? Nope. It's a dreadlock. <laughs> and he's had these dreads for about five years now. Five, actually, no, it's actually six years now. So yeah, he's had these dreads for six years and yeah. And the products that I used was just plain old water, H2O, and a just a spray bottle. And now we have a towel this time, so you guys can't say, you know, are there any towels in the house? Yes, there's towels. Um, so yeah, I just spray the dread very well with water, like I soak it. You need to get it really soaking wet to, to make it loose. And just use a conditioner, preferably a conditioner with silicone in it. The silicone um, helps make the dread soft so that it allows it to... Um, easily get like loosened up a silicone is any type of cone so any conditioner that um has ingredients that end with cone on the end that's the kind of conditioner you want for detangling so yeah and then the last um product i was well, not even a product but tool is a small tooth comb i begin at the end of the dread and i start just combing like i'm i would comb a knot out and i just start combing and instantly you see that the dread is starting to come undone I think this part is probably like the easiest part where it just starts to come down undone easily just because it's the oldest and it's just like yeah so this is how much hair I uh, lost so far in the last inch that I've actually uncombed already and yeah so I just keep working up the shaft of the hair or the shaft of the dread and when it finally just keeps loosening up I just continue to add more water more conditioner as I move up the dread so some questions that I've been asked um is what kind what was his hair like before the dreads okay so um he has always had long hair um he's cut his hair in high school several times and just grew it back cut it grew it back cut it grew it back and so um for a few years before he had his hair before the dreadlocks were already like mid back length he already had like long hair he would wear it in ponytails buns so he'd wear it out and like a wash and go or whatever and then he decided to get dreadlocks and he got them professionally dreaded and they just locked up and he's had them in dreads for six years so what's his hair type his hair type i would say is about a 3b 3c um depending on where on his head you're looking at um mostly i would say it's like 3b 3c that's just like a combination of what his hair is like he has very coarse hair now coarse i mean like his strands are thick he has very thick hair strands so that could also be why this process might have been easier and without all that breakage because his hair can withstand the combing and like all that so he has very coarse as in thick hair strands and his hair is really dense which is also why i haven't taken the dreads all out by now is because he has a lot of hair a lot of thick coarse dense hair so that's why it's taken so long for me to make this video and it's why why we took such a long break just because this is a lot on my hands this process for one dread takes about 20 to 30 minutes long so as you can see like you know me doing this every night like or I can't do this in one sitting and doing it every night after a while it's just like all right like you get tired of it so that's why it's been taking so long but we eventually plan on taking all of his dreads out he's been wanting to cut his hair for the last year or so but I've been telling him to hold off so I can make this video and so I can just take all the dreads out um just so he can wear it long for a little bit before he decides to cut it what I would recommend for someone with finer hair as in uh, less dense as in not as many strands on their head and for someone who has thin hair so it's not as their hair is not as thick the strands aren't thick I would suggest really just taking your time I mean no matter what kind of hair you have you really need to just take your time you see in this video this is live real time you need to like really go slow use a lot of water use a lot of conditioner and slowly move up this is not a race it's not a rush like just take your time as you see this has taken us a year and a half to even get a quarter done mostly just because we haven't done it but it's like it, just take your time 
And uh, yeah, by the way, guys, this is not a protective hairstyle. I saw a lot of people in the comments saying that, oh, great protective hairstyle. I'm going to dread my hair up and then take it out five, after five years. Like, I wouldn't recommend this. Um, you get a lot of ha shed hairs. Um, you might freak yourself out trying to take out your dreads at the end because a lot of people are, I know, probably have tried taking out their dreads and like freak out because they see so much hair they're losing. But really, guys, it's just shed hair. Most of it, if you're being careful, it's just shed hair. It's not breakage. Um, if anything, his ends are just kind of like damaged looking just because he hasn't had a trim in six years. So that's probably why it looks that way. But honestly, this is not breakage. This is shed hair. You lose about 100 strands a day. So imagine going six years without combing your hair or getting rid of those shed hairs. They just accumulate in your dreadlocks. So you are going to lose a lot of hair. He did lose a lot of hair. But it wasn't hair that he recently just lost in one sitting. It was hair that already was let go from his scalp but was caught up in the dread. So yeah. So I recommend if you want to get dressed, do it because you want that hairstyle, not because you want to do it as a protective style. If you want a protective style, do faux locks, do something temporary. I don't want you to dedicate yourself to dreads for six years and then you know, it just doesn't make any sense to me. So yeah. Um, and no, he's not helping because I wanted to do this for my channel. And besides, if he tried to help, he can't see the back of his head. It would be a tangled mess. And yeah, so everybody who said, oh, why isn't he helping? Like, guys, really? He, could, he, could, he couldn't possibly do this himself. Himself, it would just end up being counterproductive just because he would probably create more tangles than there already is so yeah that's why he's not helping also too his dreads are not interlocked um I do his dreads I retwist them I'm not a loctician I'm not I'm not experienced in how to do dreads but what I do is I use a twist and lock gel after he's washed his hair and I twist them I guess it's called palm rolling or um, I use the comb to twist his hair up and then I take two dreads and twist them together just to keep them neat and that's what I do to keep to re uh, twist his dreads or re and they lock up so I mean that works for us I did hear you can take out interlocked dreads I've heard people in the comments say that their dreads were interlocked and um, they were able to take theirs out so now I'm finally at the top of the hair and I'm finally like combing out the last bit of tangles and yeah I mean he does need a few inches off the ends though I would say he probably will end up needing at least two to three inches cut off his hair if you pull it all the way up to the bottom of his back is literally like almost to his butt it's literally at the bottom of his back he can use a few inches off and even still with a few inches off it'd be waist length this is all the shed hair this is for one dread guys one dread look at all this hair it's ridiculous so yes guys he still lost a lot of hair yet he still has hair on his head <laughs> so yeah this is the finished like product of one dread those are the other three braids I've made of other dreads I've taken out and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add the hair that I just took out to a braid just to keep it neat you guys are asking me why are you retwisting it after you just took it out I mean he can't wear it loose guys like it would cause a lot more tangles and it will probably just lock right back up so what I do is I just um, re-wet the whole section add a cream or a cream to it just to keep it moisturized and then I braid it back up and this just keeps it neat when I retwist his dreads every time I retwist his dreads I take the braids out and I just re-braid them just to keep them neat and detangled so yeah guys that's pretty much all the main questions I got if I missed any please feel free to leave some qu more questions in the comments and I will be sure to answer you um, yeah so the last part is just combing everything out that's how long it is and I'm gonna just braid this right back up and then I braid the three braids together just to keep them extra neat just so they don't get all tangled up and everything so yeah, um, that's it. So this just shows you guys that yes, you can take out dreads. No, you do not have to cut all your hair off. Even if you have 4C hair or kinky hair or whatever, like you can take your dreads out. You can try. Try at least taking out one and seeing what happens. And if it, it doesn't work out, just like relock it, you know, and just say, oh, forget it or cut it off or whatever, but at least try to take out your dreads. You know, your texture has nothing to do with how long you can grow your hair, just so y'all know. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.